Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. Biggest FPV race ever, AMA Multi-GP race boasts major excitement. Chicago drone pilot wins case against the city. Big time drone racing comes to Reno. Hi, I'm Brie Cross. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 195,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. Multi-GP's 2017 Multi-International Open, conducted on the grounds of AMA headquarters, turned out to be a record setter. The AMA crew has reported that some 300 quadcopter pilots inundated Muncie, Indiana, August 8th through the 13th for the much-anticipated Riot Multi-GP International Open. The races were held at AMA's International Aeromodeling Center, and in addition to plenty of opportunities to simply fly for the fun of it, pilots competed at 11 tracks spread out across nearly 1,100 acres. Racers came from all over the globe, and the roster boasted pilots from countries as far as away as France, Australia, and South Korea. The stats were staggering. 307 registered pilots, 606 attendees, 11 race tracks, representation from the U.S., Canada, Mexico, Korea, Japan, Australia, England, France, Germany, Ecuador, and other nations. The final four pilots included champions from Korea and Australia, as well as two Americans in the largest FPV event of all time. The air was full of activity, recording a high of 64 pilots in the air at once, while a total of over 17,000 laps were flown. For the World Cup, double elimination fly-offs paired the hundreds down to the top eight to battle it out for top prize. 18-year-old Thomas BMS Thomas Mitt Bata of Australia came out on top and was crowned the champion of the World Cup. After learning that he had won the event, Thomas said, quote, I'm in complete shock. It's like nothing I've ever experienced. In the next drone minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. Unique has introduced an extended warranty program it is calling the Unique Extended Service, or YES, plan. The plan supports the Breeze Series and Typhoon H Series aircraft. There are two levels of coverage offered by the company. The plans offer unlimited manufacturer defect repairs. An upgrade YES crash forgiveness plan includes up to two non-warranty repairs. Well, we didn't need this. A hobbyist drone landed on the deck of Britain's newest aircraft carrier last month while she was docked in Invergordon in the Scottish Highlands. The unidentified pilot allegedly recorded aerial video of HMS Queen Elizabeth, which was tied up to the docks and apparently largely empty at the time. Then the aircraft landed on the flight deck and took photos of the aircraft. Not smart. And again, folks, we really didn't need this one either. A spectator watching the Blue Angels perform during the Seafair Air Show in Mercer Island, Washington last week captured video of a drone flying in the vicinity of the jets, although a Navy official noted that the UAV was no threat to the aerobatic team. Several people reportedly saw the drone, including Washington State Police officers on the I-90 bridge over Lake Washington. The drone reportedly remained in the area until the end of the show. The Drone Operator Safety Act has been introduced in the U.S. House of Representatives. The bill is reportedly intended to help protect American air traffic from the misuse of drones. The bill makes it a criminal offense to fly a drone in a way that poses a safety risk to the operation of a manned aircraft. It would also prohibit operators from flying drones near airports' runways without permission from the airport's control tower. Violators would be subject to a fine and or prison time. That was our Drone Minute, now back to the rest of the news. A drone operator with a Part 107 license was recently cited by the City of Chicago for flying his aircraft over people without consent. Except that it didn't happen. Attorney Jeffrey Antonelli represented Jarrett Cackham, who made one flight on Chicago's lakefront. Stopped by the police, he pointed to the section of Chicago's drone law, showing it does not apply to those flying with FAA licensing. However, the police reportedly assumed that 
because of the people on the waterfront, he must have violated an ordinance by flying over them without permission. But again, that didn't happen. No witnesses claimed that, and police observation of pedestrians on the lakefront were made after the flight. Despite cooperating with the police, his possession of a license and no witnesses against him, he was ticketed. Antonelli's firm represented Mr. Hackham and one. They believe it is the first time that the city has prosecuted an FAA-licensed commercial drone pilot. Antonelli writes that the citation should not have been issued in the first place and that the case demonstrated a failure of national drone policy. He also opines that the Chicago ordinance is largely, if not entirely, preempted by federal law. And if FPV's largest fun fly festival wasn't enough racing for you, get this. Multi-GP is heading to the Reno Air Races. The Reno Air Racing Association and the Multi-GP Drone Racing League have agreed to host the National Drone Racing Championship during this year's National Championship Air Races. The races will be held in Reno's on-site drone zone. Quote, the addition of Multi-GP's National Drone Racing Championship into the air races allows our fans to experience exciting drone technology up close and personally. Tony Logatetta, Director of Finance for the Reno Air Racing Association said, While air racing remains our number one priority, we are eager to incorporate this emerging entertainment into our lineup. Two pilots from each multi-GP regional qualifier who advance to their respective regional final will have an opportunity to advance to the championship as the top two pilots from each of the 14 multi-GP regional finals will be invited. The 28 regional finalists will be joined at the championship by 117 other pilots who have proven themselves through other methods, such as highly ranked competitors from the regional finals and universal time trial leaderboards. In total, 145 pilots will compete at the championship, including the 2015 and 2016 multi-GP national champion, Sean Knight Fury Taylor, who will have the opportunity to defend his title. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Limited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net and more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.